Hi guys, my name is Scott and with Motorsportsland here in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2016 3260 RS from Bighorn. Um, right away as you look at the trailer you'll see the high gloss gel coat. It's a beautiful this trailer, it's got a, a aluminum frame with brick foam insulation. We'll go into a little bit more of that when we get inside, but you'll notice also it's got a drop frame construction. What that means is that your I-beam is down here underneath the trailer instead of running down the middle. So you've got a lot bigger storage coming through your pass-through storage. A really great compartment. It's a huge compartment. You've got D-rings for tie downs. It's heated in here. You've also got the electric um, leveling, the one touch six point leveling system. You can push it, it levels out the entire trailer on its own. It's also got a memory and it goes right back to where it remembers where your truck came off of. It's got a lot of neat features, but the most important thing is it keeps your, your trailer level with one touch, nice and easy to do that. Your slam latches, like a bus style on a trailer, much better way. We've got the twin seven and a half gallon propane tanks. Inside, outside, marine grade speakers. You know, you've got a nice huge awning. It's got the roll of LED lights on the awning as well. Nice big storage up front. It's got enough area for a nice generator prep. If you were gonna put one in, this one is opted not to have it, but it does have the prep in it, so it's nice and easy to put in. Dual batteries, you'll notice everything is all hydraulic. You've got a nice shroud covering up your hitch, which gives it a lot better aerodynamics and nice, better look. Um, speaking of looks, we've opted on this one to have the, the front cap painted. That's kind of where the abuse of the trailer gets, so it's nice to have that painted. It'll stay looking this way a lot longer. Um, if you notice, it's cut out on the corners. You've got an 88 degree uh, turning radius on all of your big horn front caps. What that tells you is that if you've got a short, uh, short bed trailer, you don't have to get an expensive slider hitch. You can still maintain an 88 degree turning radius while you're turning. It's a lot better for you. Your slides are a cable system slide. The nice thing about that is from the inside, if you ever have an issue with your slide, which you rarely do, but if you ever do, you just pop off one cap and there's a little bolt that you can just even hit a simple, simple DeWalt drill or something to, and it goes in and out. It makes it nice and easy. Peace of mind knowing that if everything ever goes wrong, it's got a backup for it. Secondary seven and a half gallon propane tank. Again, you can see the nice huge pass-through storage here. Because a big horn has a front cap and a back cap, there's no bumper to house your, your waist hose. So what you've got is you've got a waist hose um, storage here underneath. One-stop docking system holds everything that the trailer needs. You've got a hot and cold shower, you've got your winterized system, as well as seeing all of your tank pole valves located inside a heated part of the trailer. When they say four season, they really seriously mean it. Having these pulled inside, no matter where you're at, there's no exposed, you know, excess to the cold that's gonna freeze. 12 gallon hot water heater with an eight recovery. That's gonna give you about 20 gallons of water until you even start to run cold. Exhaust for your furnace. Looking at the tires, you've got 7,000 pound axles. You've got 16 inch eight lug tires. The weakest link on a trailer is always your tires. So it's nice to have, you know, a nice E-rated tire you know, going down the road gives you a lot more reliability. Bighorn has given us a nice storage compartment in the back. It's, they, they do a really good job of utilizing all the space in the trailer. If there's any storage, you can make it seating. Don't have any, you know, dead spaces in it. Seating or storage is very important. You have the electric power cord reel. This is really nice because you've got a 50 amp cord because of the twin 15,000 BTU air conditioners in here. So winding this up and finding a place to put it would be pretty, pretty cumbersome and pretty hard to do. Having that electric, which is just easy, goes in and out. It's a really nice feature to have. This is what I was telling you about by a back cap. You can tell you know, the difference between a nice trailer and a really nice trailer. A nice trailer will have a good front cap on it. That's where the abuse of the trailer usually gets. The back cap just kind of ties it all in like a nice shoe box, adds to the aerodynamic part of the trailer. It's just a really, really great feature you can see. Automotive frameless windows, so there's no seams or seals on the exterior to deteriorate quicker. Ladder on board. Coming around to the main side, you'll see the rack and pinion. That's what you want to see when you get to a side, it's big gear systems. That big gear system is going in and out of the steel chassis of the trailer. Um, it's the most reliable, strongest slide system that you can get. If you can get a good look down here, you, there, even the spare tire system is really neat. You pull one lever, it drops down, you can just slide that tire out. No big things to under, you know, un unchain, unwire. Um, it's just nice and easy access to get to it. 
You'll notice you've got a nice four step entry step here going into a full full size coach like this. That's really nice. You don't have huge steps going in or you know the three step where your first one is huge. A nice safe turn handle here. It's nice and easy to get in. When you first get into the trailer, you can really, really tell the difference of a quality trailer for one to take a look at the coffered ceilings. It gives it a lot more residential feel than the typical just kind of the weekend trailer. You've got a stainless steel package on all of your appliances. If you'll take a look, this is the new Norcold 18 cubic foot refrigerator. You know, the amazing thing about this is not only is it huge in an 18 cubic foot refrigerator, but it's gas or electric. So you still have the options, you know, to take it if you're ever gonna do any dry camping, not to be completely plugged in the entire time. You've got a huge storage through here for all your pantry. This slides back and forth, just again, optimizing all the space available. Nice deep drawers. All of your switches here are hidden. Kids can't get to it. High rise faucets, huge stainless steel 6040 sink. Again, as much residential stuff as you can find in a trailer really to give it that same feeling that you get when you walk into a home. It's gotta be one of the biggest sinks I've seen in the industry. Solid surface countertops that even cover up your cooktop, your range top. Just to add into more countertop space, it's absolutely ideal. This one's opted to have the convection microwave, so you have the options of cooking or as a microwave. Nice big oven. Full range drawers, metal ball bearings that come all the way out. You're capable of holding 50 pounds each. Inter entertainment systems comes through here. You've got everything through here. Cabinets to house videos, movies game storage. The TV does come out and moves either way. You've got an electric fireplace down here to add a little bit more heat to the trailer. Storage again on both sides. Coming across the back, also you want to take a look and notice that these are actually MCD roller shades. These are a much better, nicer um, shade. There's some, you know, other brands that don't work as often. These are, are pretty much spot on to go up and down every time. You've got a big tri-fold sofa here. This opens out to almost a king size bed. And one of Bighorn's kind of claim to fame, really neat things, is this is actually a power heated massage chair. It's really nice. You'll notice it's located directly across the entertainment center system. So you're not watching TV sideways, you're kind of turning your head back and forth. Um, some of the, the, the components throughout the trailer, Bighorn also has twin 15,000 BTU air, air conditioning systems. It's ducted throughout the whole ceiling. A lot of trailers have ducted AC. This is actually a whisper quiet AC. So the compressors on the machines that produce the air conditioner are actually on top of the roof. So you don't see the things here. You also can't hear the compressors kick on. So it's a really nice whisper quiet system, you know, by far the, the best in the industry. You'll notice throughout the system, you've got LED lights inside and out. A nice big dinette table here that has a leaf that you can pull out. Two extra chairs are located up in the, in the bedroom. I'll show you those. Um, they come out so you can play cards and stuff like that here. Going up to the bedroom, let's take a look at, again, just extra storage. Any place that it can be is storage. Coming up into the bathroom, you've got a nice corner shower that opens up really nice and big. It's got a step in there so you can sit there. The wives can shave their legs. Again, even solid surface on the, the bathroom countertops. It's a nice area where a lot of people will, you know, will, will chintz out and not do that, finish off nicely. Cabinets, everything again, all hardwood, hidden hinges, ducted AC and ducted heat, porcelain toilets, better for many, many reasons. Second door going into the bathroom from the bedroom is always nice. Not having to allow you have to go walk down the hallway. If you've got guests, you're not walking around in your underwear in the middle of the night. King size bed here in the slide. You've got power on each side of the bed. If you do have any gentle things you need power for at night. Huge storage, even in your slide. So this is where they've chosen to put the, the spare tables, spare chairs for the table downstairs. You can put them wherever you like, but that's a nice deep, deep storage. And up in here, you've got a nice walk-in closet. In the walk-in closet, not only do you have the new Dyson vacuum, which is really nice, because it's always ready at any given instance, but you've also got a safe. Nice for your valuables.
And here in the corner, you've got your washer and dryer prep. If you choose not to put a washer and dryer, that just becomes a nice, huge hanging closet. Entertainment system up in the bedroom as well. Again, just with the full length doors, metal ball bearings. Again, my name's Scott. I'm with Motorsports Line in Salt Lake City. Please come down and take a look at us. This is our new 2016 Bighorn 3270 RS.